What's up, guys? About to do an unboxing. My guy Wayne's beer delivery sent me a little some some. About to see what I got. Oh, bubble wrap. Oh yeah, I got about got about thirty minutes of bubble wrap time. All right, first thing I'm pulling out. Thirteen stripes. Freeborn, hazy tropical, in India pale ale. My favorite ABV seven, right on the money. Check out that can art. Can art is pretty sick. It's uh, looks like two soldiers talking, drinking a beer over an open fire. This is Ha Citrus Centennial, Equinot and Liberty. I'm not familiar with Equinot hops very familiar with citra and centennial ah okay All right so the british colonies asserted improved 1763 okay all right all right moving right along got a beer in a bag i like beers in a bag i feel like when there's a beer in a bag it's going to be even more badass I think I seen Wayne review this fishing beer, a Hellas Lager, made in Greenville, South Carolina, four percent ABV, eighty-five brewery, eighty-five. Sweet. Yes, yes, yes. I will probably be reviewing this one first because it's the lowest alcohol, and. When I break my fast, I know that's gonna be something I can pair food with food. Hellas Lager usually pairs very well with different foods. Another beer in a bag. Oh, yeah. And bubble wrap. Oh, yeah. Hop, drop, and roll. Noda. Wow. I'm in, I'm, I'm in shock. Last time I had this, 2016, I lived in Charlotte for most of that year. Came back the end of that year. Right when Trump was elected, I packed all my stuff and I moved to Charlotte to work two different jobs. And I drank this a lot because I used to get off work late. I was a bartender and a server and I worked in the kitchen as well. Did like three different titles. So I get off at like midnight. Weird part about North Carolina, the liquor stores close at 9 p.m. sharp. They're the same liquor store, ABC liquor store, all over the state. But you can get beer till 2 o'clock in the morning. It's kind of weird. But I drink, I would drink this, and I love this. Hop, drop, and roll. Dude, dude, Wade, thank you so much. Yeah, World Beer Cup Gold Award. I know. Usually the beers I say are legit, they have that stamp. You need to see that stamp. That, that stamp doesn't always mean... It's a great beer because I've seen, I've had a couple beers that had awards and I didn't agree with it. But this deserves the award for sure. Definitely drinking that last. Definitely. Because I haven't had that beer in five years and it was back then my favorite IPA I had ever tasted. All right, Roke the Bear. Oh, excuse me, Poke the Bear. I thought that was an R. Poke the Bear. Check out that bear. Looks pissed. I guess that's a grizzly. I would think. American Pale Ale. Revelry. Revelry Brewery. I think that's how you say it. 5.5% Charleston, South Carolina. Poke, poke the Bear is a pale, refreshing, and hoppy supporting. No, hoppy ale. Supporting malt in New World hops. Provide balance, drinkability, classic citrus, floral, and tropical fruit characters. Go ahead, challenge the status quo. I always do. Revel, revel, revelry. Thinking that's how you say it. Thank you, Wayne. I appreciate this, man. This was this was awesome of you to do. You listened to my review when I said this was one of my favorites. And the only way I'd be able to get this is if I go back to Charlotte or I get it from my guy, Wayne's Beer Delivery. 
Guys, check him out if you haven't. He does great content. And he just sent me four awesome beers. Thanks again, bud. Cheers.